Welcome to the Tech Mail Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to the Tech Mail YouTube channel and please support us by liking and sharing this video with your friends. On Thursday, Japan confirmed two deaths from coronavirus, which resulted in further sell-off of the Japanese yen. Meanwhile, the Australian economy added 13.5k jobs in January, but still the jobless rate was up from 5.1% to 5.3% versus the 5.2% forecasted. On Friday, we'll be focused on the Eurozone cons Consumer Price Index for January. Today, I'm looking at the dollar-yen pair, which saw the biggest gains compared to most of the other major currency pairs. And it reached the key resistance level of 112.11 for the first time since last April. The bears jumped in to take profit early hours during the Asian session on Friday, so we may see a temporary pullback here. But if the coronavirus fear continues in Japan, we could see uh, the pair continuing higher. On, on the other hand, if the corona wires get serious in the U.S., the traders may jump in to dump the U.S. dollar. Now, what do you think about the real reason why the traders have been selling off the Japanese yen? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading the financial markets involves a risk of loss, and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.